Well, in 2016, we were deplorables. A basket of deplorables. <laughs> Kiss my ass. In 2020, we were silenced. Total bullshit. Now in 2024, we're garbage. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. Go fuck yourself. Joe Dementia opens his mouth. Come on, man. Camila is silent. And Trump throws up out of the mall. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm Jazz Bergonzo on this. Five days. Just five days. But what's next? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jazz Bergonzo, what's next? Your daily dose. Hope you guys are feeling good today on this Thursday. Because, of course, it's always a good thing when another day we get closer to the weekend. But five days. We're five days away from a pivotal election that could swing the balance of power between the side that wants uh, unfettered abortions, you know, you know, tampons in your, uh, you know, your boys' bathrooms, you know, castrations, child castrations, and then versus the other side where he wants to reverse all that and try to make it back the way it was just a few short years ago. It's going to be a little difficult, but could be done. Don't know. Maybe. Sort of? Anyway. A few days ago. Let's go back to the weekend. There was a massive square garden. 20,000 people showed up for a Trump rally. Thousands of people outside the venue. Place was mobbed. I mean, you can feel the electricity in the air. You had Trump. Of course, you had uh, others like Tulsi Gabbard, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, Elon Musk was there. But one particular person was there that caught the eye of everyone. And of course, the media jumped all over it. They rode that horse. Uh, a, for most of the American population, unknown comedian. Uh, his name is Tony Hancliffe. Uh, Hancliffe, Hancliffe, some Hinchcliffe, something like that. I don't know his last name. I don't care. I never heard of the guy. Anyway, he was doing his little shtick, and his shtick is to roast everybody. You know, no matter the race, creed, ethnicity, what have you, it doesn't matter. Equal opportunity offender. So. He's going through a shtick, and then he brings up the island of Puerto Rico. Calls it a floating island of garbage. All hell breaks loose. Libera media takes full advantage of it. They ride it. And, of course, you got people clutching pearls. Rectums are clenching. You know, a lot of those, you know, my, you know, being from of Puerto Rican heritage, my mother and father were born in Puerto Rico. Um, I didn't take offense to it. I said, I heard, I said in my last video, I said, I heard enough of poor, you know, rice and bean jokes over the years. Doesn't do anything for me. You know, was it dumb? Yeah. Was it the correct venue? That's highly questionable. Yeah. You could probably say, yeah, but offensive to me. No, but you have a lot of people. You had uh, famous, you know, some famous uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, singers and actors and what have you have taken offense to it and have uh, said, you know what? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not voting for Trump. I'm, I'm voting for Harris. Fine. Whatever it is, what it is. But you got those still standing strong. You got the shadow senator of Puerto Rico standing behind Trump. You had a caravan of cars and trucks drenched in Trump paraphernalia supporting Trump. So where am I going with this? Remember back in 2016 when Hillary called us deplorables? You know, those who supported Trump deplorables. And then, of course, in 2020, we were silenced because of the pandemic. Of course, now in 2024, we're garbage. So what does Donald Trump do? Does he apologize? Does he, you know, does he mea culpa? You know, my bad. You know, I didn't mean to bring this uh, clown on stage. No, 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 no. He rolls up in a garbage truck. And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Watch. Donald Trump rides a garbage truck to Wisconsin rally. 250 million people are not garbage. Nice. Former President Donald Trump rode in a garbage truck on Wednesday to his Wisconsin rally in response to President Joe Dementia trashing millions of Americans as garbage. Video shows garbage truck approaching Trump's uh, plane in Wis uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. American flags waving in the air. You can see it. Nice. A garbage truck with American flags and Trump sign uh, just pulled up to Trump's plane here in Green Bay. Wearing an orange vest, you know, which a lot of, you know, those who, uh, you know, get, you know, work for the garbage company actually work, uh, actually use, excuse me. Trump has sent a very poignant message. Hello, 
everybody. This is Donald Trump and 250 million people are not garbage. Trump then hopped in the garbage truck and headed off to the next rally in a crucial battleground state. Because you can see him there, that's, that's, that's priceless, man. That's gold. Trump speaking from the passenger window of the garbage truck, which uh, had Trump make America great again on the side, asked the press, how do you like my garbage truck? The truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe, he added, refer, uh, reiterating that 250 million people are going to be very, very happy because we're going to bring the country back. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. You gotta love it. He says, we're a nation decline, very, very serious decline, and we're going to bring our country back. And I think 250 million people in this country are going to be very happy because we're going to bring the country back. We're a nation in decline, very, very serious decline, and we're going to bring our country back. Uh, this is coming from uh, Steve Cortez. Amazing. He's uh, answering some questions from Would reporters. Joe Biden, to make that statement, it's really a disgrace. He said the other day, he said the other day that the military Supporters were loving it across social media. Quote, he always makes sure he's one of us, loves Trump. Uh, one ex-user said, let's take out the trash, Big Daddy. We love you, Trump. Uh, New York Moxie at his finest. Bravo. Well done, another exclaimed. Trump's garbage truck, uh, Trump's garbage truck ride follows Biden calling their former President Trump supporters uh, garbage. Much like the twice-failed and pathetic Hillary Clinton uh, calling uh, Trump supporters back in 2016 with her basket of deplorables crack. The only garbage I want to see floating out there are his supporters, Biden said, later attempting to walk it back, claiming that he was only referring to the comedian Trump's uh, campaign it had on stage at Madison Square Garden on Sunday. For Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware. He's about to say where I'm from. Honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. Trump had continued to blast Biden and his party for trashing supporters. This week, Kamala has been comparing her political opponents to the most evil mass murderers in history. And now, uh, speaking, on, uh, speaking on a call for a campaign last night, Biden finally said what Kamala really thinks of our supporters, Trump said during a rally in North Carolina earlier in the day, Wednesday. He called them garbage, and he meant it. Even though, without question, my supporters are far higher quality than Crooked Joe or Lion Kamala, Trump continued. My response to Joe and Kamala is very simple. You can't lead America if you don't love America. And you can't be president if you hate the American people. It's a, There's a lot of hatred, he continued. Kamala Harris is not fit to be president of the United States. She doesn't have the intellect, the stamina, or a special quality that real leaders must have to lead. We know what it takes. It's very special quality, he said. And adding that, adding that Biden's comments were the direct result of Kamala Harris and Tampon Tim. Kamala and her party have called us racist, bigots, fascists, deplorables, irredeemables, Nazis. They've called me Hitler, Trump said, reminding Americans that these offensive characterizations uh, from the left are not new. Vice President Kamala Harris tried to save face for Biden, telling reporters that uh, uh, he clarified his comments. But let me be clear. I strongly disagree with any criticism that based on who they are for, uh, who they're voting for, she added, failing to say if she sympathizes for the voters who feel offended by or insulted by the garbage comment. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the media had a total meltdown on this, literally. You know, clutching pearls, rectums clinching. They were screaming around with their hair is on fire. I mean, it was just mwah. masterpiece theater. Loved it. But the media is going to try to ride this. Is this their October surprise on the thirty first of October? Is that what is that what it is? Because it's a very weak one at that. At the end of the day. Trump has been on his game, you know, say what you want, like him or hate him. The man has been on his game. He's taken full advantage of social media from long form interviews to doing stunts like this in a garbage truck. That is just gold, Jerry, gold. But um, remember, kids, we're five days away, just five days. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share, subscribe to it, hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue spreading the word about the show. Appreciate you guys watching as always. And we'll see you next time. Peace.